guys. So at the moment, while a lot of the world is on lockdown, now is a perfect opportunity to get out the mini crawlers. Some of you guys were asking about the scratch on the Lambo. It was all right. We got it off with some brake cleaner. A lot of you guys give me grief about driving over this, but it's got paint protection film on there. So it's pretty much impossible to scratch it. So here we got some of the indoor crawlers that I've got. And in this video, we're gonna see which one does best. Now these are all hobby grade, with the exception of this one. This one here is a toy grade. So we wanna see how well the hobby grades do compared to the cheapo toy grade. And then also, I wanna swap over a few tires and see if we can find the best tire and crawler combination. I've already done a live stream and I've swapped the tires with these two already over. So we're gonna swap these back to stock in a minute, but we're gonna run them like this for now because I can't be bothered to swap them loads of times. So here's the track. We gotta go around there, around there, around there, around there. You'll see in a minute. And the idea is, is to get round with the least amount of hands off gods as possible. So I've got a chart here and we're gonna see which car and then which combination is gonna win at the end of the video. So vote down below now, guys, which car you think is gonna win. Also, I'm gonna put a link to where you can get all of these cars from down below. And also, if I remember, there's gonna be a link to all the videos that I've made reviewing each one of these so you can see how they are. So first up, we have the Axial SCX24 with the HBX Devastator wheels and tires. So this is the same track that we had in the live stream. Link to that live stream down below. But I've changed it here because every single car just rolled over straight away. It was impossible to get down. Blah, blah, blah. Let's waffle. More action. Here we go. Are you ready? You made it down the first bit. Oh. We're allowed to reverse, but we're only allowed that one hand of God. Well, as many hand of gods as you like. But hands of gods do not mean prizes. So this here is very difficult to get round when you haven't got four wheel steering. So it's gonna take a little while for me to maneuver this to line it all up. So we're gonna speed up the video. There we go, we've made it safely onto the eBay bridge. This by the way is a Banggood Special, which is Nitro, one eighth scale, and that's gonna be in a review very soon. Now we've got a little bit of a side slope coming up. Oh! Oh, and we've recovered. But now we're facing the wrong way. You have to hit the reverse and then try and turn it round later on. Oh, straight over. So now, are we going to make it up this slope? Oh, no! Oh, that was my error. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. Oh, and it makes it. I think we're going to give it one hand to God because it got lucky there where it ended up back on its wheels, but then it got unlucky here where I kind of reversed off the end of it. So I think one hand to God for that one is fair. So next, let's go on to the HBX Devastator, but with the SCX24 wheels and tyres. Many people say that these are much better tyres. So now we're going to see if they really are. The benefit with this one here, we have front and rear wheel steering. Here we go. Are you ready? Oh, first tumble wumble, one hand to God. Oh. Ah, oh, what? Two hands to God. So now with a four wheel steering, we should be able to get it around here a lot easier. What's going on here? What? Three hand to God's. Oh, we're struggling to get grip here. What's going on? All right, we got grip, we got grip. Is he gonna roll over? Oh no! <laughs> Four hands of God. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, is he gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? 
No, Ty just cannot get the grip. Try getting the run up. Go! Come on, come on. No, definitely not. There we go. Five hands of God. Man, that was pretty awful. It'd be fun to see what happens when we put the stock tyres back on to see which one does better. So next, we got the Hobby Plus. So this one here still got all the live axles, solid axles and everything, but we haven't got any four wheel steer. The only one with a four wheel steer is the Devastator. Here we go. Oh, oh one hand of God. Oh, make an easy work of that so far. Oh! Oh, no! Hand of God. All right, is it going to make it on the side slope? Oh, oh what? Oh, hand of God. Alright, we get it stuck. Alright, so now is it going to make up the hill of doom? Let's get it run up to get the best possible shot. Go! Ah, oh, no chance. Ah, uh, next we have the 24th scale Hobby Plus. Now this one here is, by looking at it, fairly similar to this one here. But the difference with this one here, it's got a front mounted motor, it's got a separate transmission, se separate transfer box. So let's see how well this one does. I'm guessing it's going to fall over a little bit more often than this one, because it does look like it has got a higher centre of gravity. And I know guys, it's not really a fair test because I'm a bad driver. Are you ready? Oh, tumble wumble. So hand of God, number one. Oh, what's going on here? Steering's going the wrong way. Here we go. Oh, struggling over that first bit. Oh, we made it, we made it. But getting close to the edge there. Oh no, let's try again. Ah, oh, right, hand of God, number two. Oh, can it do it? It's so close. Oh, yes. Can it make it over this bit here? I'm going to try and get it closer to these tyres to try and hold it up. Oh! Ah! Oh! It recovered. So it's still on two hands of gods at the moment. I think it's a little bit steep for it. Ah! Oh. There we go. It's not going to make it around there. So hand of god number three. Oh, easy work for this bit. Come on, no! And the god number four. That's probably my mistake. I think it would have made it over that. Not really a fair comparison, but just a bit of fun. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? Oh, it's getting close, but not quite. Come on. Oh, is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? Oh! Hand of God, I think number six. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's probably a little bit unfair because of my bad driving skills. But anyway, there we go. Actually, I think it was five. Next, we have to HPX Devastator on the stock wheels and tires. All right, let's see if we can do this whole course without any recoveries. All right, here we go. Oh, we made the first bit. 
So this one here is probably my favourite crawler out of all of them. Oh, struggling over this bit. Oh, what's going on there? I made it over there in the live stream. All right, four wheel steer. Ah, oh, all right, hand of God, number one. This is the bit here where I should all come into its own with that four wheel steering. And also this one here crawls a lot slower than all the other ones. So it makes it a lot more maneuverable. Oh. What's going on here? Oh, what's going on here? All right, all right, we're making it, we're making it round. Only one hand of God so far. For slow crawling, this one here, I would say it's definitely the best one. Look at it, getting all over that like a spider. All right, let's line it up for the hill climb and see if this one can make it. Here we go. Ah, oh, no chance. There we go, two hands of God. Do you know what? It did a lot better in the live stream. And I think the reason is, is that I had these older tires on there. And these being older, I've actually got more grip. These ones here, where they're brand new, they feel a lot more slippery. So at the end of the video, we're gonna try it again but with the older tyres. So next, we're gonna try it with a Hobby Plus 18th scale. So this one here is similar to the 24th scale one, but it's a bit bigger. So I think this is not really fair. It's probably gonna struggle on here, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. Actually, I say it's fairly similar, but it does have a two cell LiPo instead of one cell LiPo. It's also got a better servo in there. So while there are some similarities, it is actually quite different. All right, here we go. I'm guessing it should do this one easy, being a longer wheelbase. There we go. Ah, there we go. First hand of God. And I think it's definitely gonna need another one on this next bit here, because it being so much longer and wider, it's just, I think there's no hope that's gonna make it round there. Ah, all right, hand of God, number two. I'm guessing now the rest of it, it should be able to do, maybe not the hill climb at the very end, but we'll see. I think this, this ramp here has actually moved a little bit. This used to be a bit tighter. Ah, oh, maybe it's gonna need a hand of God here, maybe not, can we do it, can we do it? Yes, it's getting round up to the rock crawling section. Making easy work of that so far. It's actually doing really, really well. I thought being so much bigger, it's really gonna struggle. But so far, oh, all right. Is it gonna make it up this hill? I mean, it's got more wheel speed. It's got a two cell LiPo. I'm gonna be surprised. Well, I'm gonna be surprised either way. I'm not really sure if it's gonna do it or not do it. Are you ready? Go! Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's just stuck on the chassis there, being a longer wheelbase. Oh man, it's so close. Oh no, two hands of God, but man, I'm really impressed. So, so far, it's a win for the Axial SCX24 with the Devastator wheel. So now, I want to put the stock wheels back on this and see how well it does. So here we go, SEX24 back on the stock tires. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho. first tumble wumble. That's the first hand of God. This one's got more wheel speed than some of the other ones, so you can use that to your advantage. So far, one hand of God. Oh man, it did it. So it's still only on one hand of God. Oh yes. Oh, 
Oh, so get up on there quite easy. Guys, we're doing well. Straight over the rock section. Making easy work of the tyres. Oh man, this is getting around there easy. All right, can we make it up the hill of doom? Three, two, one, go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yes, and we did it with one hand of God. It's literally just this bit here, which the only bit it can do. So next, let's give the toy a go. So this thing, I'm guessing, is going to have no hope. The rubber is really, there's no grip on there, like, well, not much compared to these. The controls is like all or nothing. It's not proportional. So anyway, let's go. I'm guessing we're going to have, like, ten hands of gods. What do you reckon, guys? Give a comment down below before we start. Here we go. Ah, oh, can we recover? Ah, uh, no, hand of God number one. Ah, uh, hand of God number two. You can't go slow with it, it's all or nothing. All right, we're getting stuck. Ah, 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 hand of God. Number three. Oh, it's made it. Oh, and we made it over that as well. Still only on three hands of God. I'm actually pretty impressed. Oh, is it making it round this? What? Ah, oh, hand of God number four. <laughs> Do you know what, guys? I am actually very impressed. I know it's not going to get up this, but I mean... <laughs> no, it's not getting up that. But man, five hands of gods. That is very impressive. Especially when you have a look at, there's another couple of cars here that done it with five hands of god too. Man, <laughs> I really did not expect that. So next, I want to get these bigger Hobby Plus tyres and put them onto the smaller one, just to see what happens. <laughs> Check it out. It almost looks like Andy the Landy now. I mean, it's going to rub on the old arches, but <laughs> let's give it a go anyway. So I think it's definitely going to tumble one ball down this bit. Oh, yes, and it did. I mean, it looks cool. And if I'm going to leave it like that, oh. 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 All right. I mean, if it, if it actually handles this pretty good, it might be worth getting a set of these wheels for it. I'm just cutting out the body a bit so it can fit. Shorter wheelbase could be helping. Oh, and we're on. We are on, guys. This is impressive. <laughs> Very impressive so far. This is the bit, I think, now with a higher centre of gravity, it's probably going to fall over. There's going to be another hand of God coming up, I think, but maybe not. Oh, oh, ah, yeah, there we go. Hand of God number two. That's the trouble when you make stuff bigger. The centre of gravity normally goes up with it. But the bigger wheel is making easy work on these obstacles. And even though the steering's rubbing, it's, <laughs> it's doing it all. Now this bit here, I don't know, I'm doubtful, but we'll give it a go. All right, here we go. Oh, the back wheel's falling off. Oh, is he making it? Is he making it? Oh, it's made it. What? So I think now we're going to take these wheels off. Put these wheels onto the SCX24 and see if we can do the whole entire course without any hands of gods. You know what could be a good project? To take out the faster motor, the two cell lipo, the better servo, the wider axles and put them onto this one here and maybe make a little miniature Andy the Landy Land Rover. What do you reckon guys? Guys, I think this could be a killer combo. So we've got a little bit more width and also I think they've got more grip as well. So we're going to get the other side on there and then we're going to see if we can do this course without any hand of gods. There we go, all mounted up. 
This first section here is definitely going to be the most difficult. I think if we can get past this, possibly we can do it. All right, here we go. Oh, oh we were covered. Oh, straight over that bit. Oh, well, spoke too soon. <laughs> now for a 20 point turn to see if we can make it onto the bridge without falling off. Oh, guys, I think we can do it. We have to be careful around this piece here because it could tip over, but we can use this tire here to our advantage. Oh, just saved it there. Now onto the rock section. Man, this is really doing well. Straight over all of that, look at the suspension flex. Oh, all right, here we go. Here's the moment of truth. Can we do it with only one hand of God? Here we go. Come on, oh, easy, easy. <laughs> Check that out, guys. We made it with zero hands of God's. All right, now we're probably asking too much, but can we do two laps without any hands of God's? All right, here we go. Ah! All right, so one last go. This time we're gonna use the old HBX Devastator. This one here's got the old tires on it. The old tires have got more grip. I wanna see if I can get this round here without any hands of God's. This is still my favorite crawler. I mean, I just like the way that it's got the four wheel steer. It's really easy to maneuver. It's not the fastest, but it's possibly the most capable. All right, here we go. Oh, we tumble one board, but it's recovered. All right, four wheel steer, let's get it turned around. Straight over this. Oh, it's making easy work. And this one is definitely the most crawlable as well. You can really go slow with it, it's really controllable. I mean, I would say it's definitely my favorite one. But as with anything in RC, the best one is whichever one puts the biggest smile on your face. And for me, it's probably this one here. But the SCX24, I mean, that is really is capable. All right, this bit here is fairly tricky. Can we get over this without tipping backwards? Oh, yes, we did. I mean, this has probably got the best side slope ability because it's so wide. Oh, we've made it round. I think if this can make it up that hill climb, this could also do it with zero hands of God. Look at that suspension flex, making it over those tires easily. This is just a piece of cake, look at that. So now we're gonna take a run up to give it its best shot. Will it do it? Three, two, one, go. Oh, and those, those old tires are gripping. Look at that, look at that guys. It did it, it did it in zero, hands of God. Ah! Don't forget guys, I'm gonna put a link down below where you can get all of this stuff from. So I would say the winner has got to be the older HPX Devastator, just because it did it in fully stock form. Anyway, that's enough waffling, so I will see you over in one of these videos.